Good morning to you. It's 945, almost 14 minutes away from the top of the hour. The Brian Kilmeade Show coming your way then. And after that, it will be, uh, well, Josh Whittison coming along at noon. But before now and then, we've got some things to do. And one of those things is we've got a couple of ladies in the studio with us here this morning from the Junior Women's Civic Club. I'll let you introduce yourselves. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Chrissy Benatch. Um, And I'm Beth Ann Stevens. And you're here to talk about uh, an annual event for you. Yes, an annual event. This is our 23rd annual spring luncheon and auction, and it's going to be on September, or September, Saturday, April 28th okay. this year. Okay, just a couple of weeks from now, not yes. a few months from now. Not a few months from now, no. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and uh, it will be held where? Um, it is actually at the Indiana Country Club this year. Mm-hmm. So we brought it in town this year, so it'll be a little closer for everybody, and it's is um, doors will open at 10 45 that morning mm-hmm. so um, lunch will be served at noon and um, we will also have a cash only bar um, that'll be available as well tickets available now tickets are available um, they can buy them online um, until saturday um, you can buy them online and you can go onto the junior women's civic club luncheon and basket raffle ba- um, Facebook page. And there is a link on there to buy them online. Mm-hmm. And if after Saturday, you still would like to come and you don't make it, um, to get on there before Saturday, you can also call Laura McLean at 814-229-1121 or you could email JWCC. 15701 at gmail.com. So any of those methods would be perfect to mm-hmm. be able to get tickets. Mm-hmm. But you, you actually want to give away a ticket or two now, right? That's correct. We're going to give away two tickets for the luncheon on April 28th. Mm-hmm. So um, two lucky winners will get to come to the luncheon. And we have lots and lots of baskets again this year. We're always known for tons of baskets. We usually have at least 150 baskets to give away and different prizes. So um, it's usually a wonderful event with many, many chances to win. There's somebody calling right now. Let's find out if they're calling for that. Good morning. Are you calling for tickets? Yes, I am. All right. You hang on to the line for me, okay? Thank you. All right. She's going to hang on to the line, and uh, uh, we'll get her information. Now, she is on 479-1160. Uh-oh, I pressed hold, and she disappeared. Let me see if she's still there. Are you? No, she's not there. You call back, and uh, and we'll get you on. I don't know why the hold button actually knocked you off, but uh, but we'll get her information and we'll open up a three four nine WCCS. That's three four nine nine two two seven. So we've already got a winner for four seven nine eleven sixty. We're asking her to call back, and then we'll take another winner at three four nine WCCS. Meanwhile, uh, let's talk more about this this event itself. Um, This year, we're raising money for the Care Center of Indiana County. So Mm. it's a really, really great um, organization that's local. And I'll let Beth Ann talk a little bit about um, the Care Center. The Care Center originally began providing services in the 1970s under the name Parents Anonymous, which was a child abuse prevention agency um, that was operating in a group format. And then in 2012, they became known as the Care Center of Indiana County. And they provide services, including nurturing parenting group, family preservation services, supervised visitations, and forensic interviewing of children. So this is like a great, uh, a great place um, that uh, is uh, the center is child uh, is always the center of the yeah. services there. So it's uh, a wonderful uh mm-hmm place i think this year for where our donations oh, yeah. will be oh yeah we've been talking about them a lot this month being uh, um, domestic violence and also uh, child uh, child abuse uh, month alert uh, awareness month so uh, so those are certainly a, a, yeah. a wonderful group of people working there we did get a winner at four seven nine eleven sixty by the time i got over to three four nine wccs uh, that caller had uh, not hung around long enough so uh, that line is still open so is four seven nine eleven sixty four uh, one more free ticket, 479-1160 or 349-WCCS. That's 9227. And I and would we'll um, you up. 
like to mention that um, Luxembourg's this year has donated a wonderful necklace for our door prize. Again, this year, this is a second year that they've been generous enough to do that for us. Last year, they gave us a beautiful ring. This year, they um, gave us a beautiful necklace. So um, Luxembourg's has been wonderful to do that for us for the past two years. And, um, you know, we want to thank them for the great, gener- um, great generous donation that they gave us. So um, that will be the door prize this year. And, again, it is a very beautiful um, necklace. So, And we have lots and lots of other baskets from local organizations um, that are in local organizations, local um, businesses that have been so generous. Um, that's one thing we've been very fortunate with is that, the businesses in our town have always given to this um, yeah. organization. So we're, we're very blessed that we've been able to have as many baskets as we are because of the generosity of the businesses in our county. So, well, the Junior yeah. Women's Civics Club has been uh, Civic Club has been active for so very, very long. Uh, and uh, for those who don't know the mission uh, and and what Junior Women's Civic Club is all about. Uh, maybe give us a thumbnail sketch of, of what the organization actually is and does. Okay, sure. Um, we actually um, we usually choose yearly um, an organization in the, in the county so that we will um, focus on to raise money for, and the, the majority of our the money that we raise does come from the luncheon. Um, during the year, we also volunteer at organizations. Um, we do guest appearances. We trivia night. Uh, judge judges. We did. Um, we have uh, a highway that we collect garbage from. Mm, um, adopted we, a highway. We adopted. Yes, we did adopt a highway. Okay. We also um, at other the um, kitchens. We do. Uh, How about the, with soup kitchens soup at kitchen. Chevy Chase Community Center? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, we try to make a lot of um, guest appearances, try to get out there to help the community in any way we can. Mm-hmm. And um, it's, it's a volunteer organization. Yeah. Sure. And, and we are always looking for volunteers. So if yes. you are if you are interested in yes, joining, yes, visit you, our Facebook page. Yes, please. Or get in touch with Laura or however um, you can. But we are always looking for people that are willing to help us with this mission because it is such an important organization in our county we have been working um for over 80 years junior women's civic club has been around and we always take pride in finding an organization that we can raise money for that yeah. could benefit from those funds so by the way we do have both of our winners uh, for the ticket Great. um and you know and you make it make a good point both of you do uh, about organizations such as yours the junior women's civic club in this case um people today aren't joiners uh, as much as they used to be. Um, the, we, there are so many other social ways that we can be in touch with each other that uh, people feel less and less of a need to join an organization uh, uh, such as a club of some sort. And, uh, right. and so it, it can be a struggle to attract members. Uh, and, and you're both aware of this. Uh, you might be in one or two or three or four uh, different social organizations or service organizations. Uh, but there are people who... You know, just need to become aware, become awake to the opportunities uh, to not only do something that is socially good, right. uh, but is service oriented to help in their community and, and really foster what is a, a really strong community. And it's not we have had so many opportunities that not everyone can make certain events mm-hmm. um, when we're volunteering and it's not required but you just try to your best to um, you know make the ones that you can, and it's a gratifying experience when you're able to provide help to you know the when we did the spaghetti dinner, um, and we serve the spaghetti at the hospital for the uh, teddy bear fun drive. Yeah. It's it's fun. It's actually you get out and you know meet a new people and get to spend time helping and that it's always a gratifying experience even for yourself even if it's a bunch of knuckleheads from the radio station it i always is, get to work yes. with them there yes I, it's and it always i always they laugh and it's a great time and giving that check at the end of the year is always one of my favorite it, uh, favorite times we have a may dinner usually this year it's again at benjamin's in indiana and um it's always 
so gratifying when you can hand them that check for whatever it is and Mm -hmm. they know like the care center will get a check of whatever amount we raise and to give that check to them and know that it's going to our community and it's staying in our community is such a great feeling and all the hard work that we put in all year. I also worth it. wanted to yes mention the uh, girl of the month oh, yeah. too. We also sponsor um, uh, a scholarship mm-hmm. for the Indiana high school and it is called the girl of the month. And we um, then every, every month we choose a, you know, a girl and they they have the requirements at the school as to how you, yeah. you know, go about applying for that. But I think that's great too, because money for, you know, it's more future of a recognition. I think that yes. one is more of a recognition. They don't give money for that one. Oh, I don't they don't. believe they don't No, oh, okay. It's Sorry. um, we do. It's more of a recognition. They get the name of girl of the month, but we do oh. give away two other scholarships. There are scholarships. The I'm year. sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we do give two other scholarships away for different, um, um events yes. throughout the year, okay. but yeah. the girl of the month is just a recognition more that they get chosen through the high school. That's right. I'm sorry. That's yep. But we do do that, and we've been known for that for many mm-hmm. years. They get recognition through the paper, and they also get recognized at the luncheon. Luncheon, yes. So yeah. we'll be... Okay, a couple of moments left. We want to give folks, again, the information about this particular event and how they can uh, get themselves tickets and attend. Okay, so again, um, it is our 23rd annual luncheon, and it's at the Indiana County Country Club this year. Doors open at 10.45 a.m. Lunch will be served at noon, and there is a cash bar um, luncheon tickets are $25, and you can also buy basket raffle tickets as well. You can order both online up until this Saturday, um, and you can go on to the Junior Women's Civic Club. It's JWCC Luncheon and Basket Raffle Facebook page. Um, on that page, you will see a link that you can buy tickets online. Um, after Saturday, we will no longer be taking online orders, but that is the best way to save yourself time and to miss the lines at the luncheon. So you'll have your tickets sitting on the table. If you cannot get on by this Saturday, then you can also call Laura McLean at 814-229-1121. Again, that's 814-229-1121. You can get tickets through her or you can email for more information about either becoming a member or um, luncheon tickets at jwcc15701 at gmail.com. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we talked right up to the marker. We appreciate you coming in to visit with us today. Thank sure. You. Thank you for having us. It again. is our pleasure. It's Indiana in the